Kingdoms of Amalur, and I probably said that wrong, is a game that I never really heard about, but apparently it had a pretty big impact in the industry, especially for open world games. It's described as single player World of Warcraft, as in no online components, just a big story, a big world that feels kind of an art style, especially like World of Warcraft. Thing is, this game has a lot of talent behind it. Todd McFarlane of Comic Book History Dude, who created Spawn, is one of the writers behind this. One of the lead designers is one of the lead designers from the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. So he's got that Bethesda background. It has all these things that feels like it should have had a bigger legacy than it does. And while it, like I said, was successful, it just didn't last the test of time. However, when the studio went under, even due to the success, THQ Nordic picked it up. They then invested money and made the basically remastered version, Re-Reckoning, which we're checking out today. Now, I'm going to go through, I'm going to play about 30, 35 minutes, and then at the end of the video, I'll give you my first impressions, and I'll just let you know what I think. After that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. It always helps the algorithm, and just let me know your thoughts. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop in. Alright, so our main menu here is a pretty simple one. I do like the art style though, it's very Magic the Gathering almost, and I, I'm a fan of that. Alright, we're gonna start a new game. I created one already just to go in and make sure settings were good. And we're gonna play on hard. Apparently the game's pretty easy, and the difference between hard and very hard is they just make enemies more spongy, which is lame. So we'll do hard. Love that background already though. Uh, heads up, I do have graphics at max. I am playing with reshade on, so it's it's gonna look great. But just letting you know, this is not the natural state of it. Have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made? We lived in harmony among the Fey. God, that is nostalgic-looking graphics, dude. Another time. We should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken? But it really does have that Elder Scrolls vibe, though. I'm here for it. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. Mm. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Dude, it has that Morrowind aesthetic. I love it. To Arthur Dayon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Such two as are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again. For the Fey do kill death as we do. How could we stand nice. against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years, the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written, at least. The world building's really fate. good already. Until you died. I died? That's not good. I don't want to die. Ooh, some tarot cards. Tear it, tarot. That looks nice, dude. That's very Lord of the Rings. And that is the whole vibe I'm getting. Is very Lord of the Rings, but Elder Scroll style. I'm not mad at it. Good voice acting. God, it's nostalgia. This is such a good art style, at least for me. It reminds me of when I was a kid. Be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. 
It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Yep, let's look at that corpse. Oh, should we get a creator? Look at my boy! Alright, um... Alright, let's actually read it, instead of me just dicking around here. Alright. Dokulfar are renowned as sophisticated students of magic and diplomacy. While they do not shy from conflict, they prefer to resolve disputes subtly and with grace or efficiently in silence. Alright, so we gotta get that stealth. What's a female look like? Oh shit, looking hot. Okay. Alright. Female here, looking very, very royal. Regal, even. Alright, the Loja... Lajazulfar, I fucked that up, are a proud and ancient people from the frozen lands of the north. Lajlafar judge themselves fit to divine right from wrong under wind, sun and sky, and meet and met and meet and meet an even handed justice. God damn it, I don't know if I'm saying this wrong or what, but I can say this one. Hardened by the high seas, the Varani are just as frequently pirates and mercenaries as they are shrewd merchants. They favor swords and daggers as seaworthy weapons. Okay? And the Almain. The Almain are a warlike and religious nation of storied origin. Many Almain come to Phelan seeking freedom while honoring the traditions of their homeland. So, I get alchemy, persuasion, and blacksmithing with them. Alright? Um, better... Oh. Uh, wait, d detect hidden plus one as in like... I am harder to detect? That's what I'm going to assume. Uh, Lockpicking. Mercantile. Okay, I like it. All right, Dispelling. Plus two. Alchemy. Sagecraft. Stealth. Sagecraft. Persuasion. I want to be a Varani. I want to be a pirate. What do my female look like? Yep, yep. Looking like, uh, basic. <laughs> she looks like an actress. I can't place who it is. All right, we're going to be a Varani. Let's do it. All right. God of Fire and the Patron of the Forge. Oh, am I picking my god? Okay. Uh, so I get fire damage and resistance, ice damage, ice resistance, physical damage, and armor, critical hits, and critical hit damage, and I can just worship the god of death, or I can be none and just get better experience. Poison damage, poison resistance. All right, so we got Lepoku, god of mischief, patron of brewing, Belen, god of death, Theodon, god of war, battle, and tactics, Njordir, god of water, patron of fishing and sailing. That I mean, technically, that'd be the answer, right? Or of Raycor, God of Fire and Patron of the Forge. Okay. So, um... Kind of want to bow to No Man and just get more experience. But apparently the level cap is kind of short. So let's get some, um... I'm going to be a melee warrior. You know what? I kind of want some fire damage, though. Normally I pick water, but I'm kind of feeling it. Oh, shit. Oh! I'll give him this. You can make a diverse cast. All right, can I can I edit you? Yeah, I can. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I'll stick with this one. This is a good skin tone. What kind of eyes can I have? I'm going to have a lot of eyes. I'm going to give myself, because uh, I'm fireman, I'm going to give myself some red eyes. Oh, I can have some eye shadow. Just keep it dark. Oh shit, mm, mm, I like this. Uh, well, we gotta go to my hair, actually. What, what kind of hair can I have? Oh, I can have a headband! Have the man bun. Got the locks. Got the top, got the little back knot. I'm not hating this. Little dread. Oh shit, I can be emo! Just the basic long. You know what, though, dude? I'm kind of feeling um, either the braids or this one, which I think is my starting one. Yeah, we're going to stick with the starting one. Uh, I do not want blonde hair. I'm a fire. Dude, that's pretty sick. That's going to be it. Because I'm going all fire. Um, 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 um. He looks so weird like this. I don't like it. I don't like that either. Yeah, I don't hate the long beard. I'm gonna stick with it. It was just nice. Okay, I gotta find that color again. There it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're gonna do this dark red. Eyebrow color, you gotta match it as well. Yep, there it is. I don't hate this. All right, let's go back to my face. Um. 
Can't even see my stubble. I know it's because I have a beard, but still. All right, jewelry, though. I like this. Whoops. Get some piercings. Little nose ring. Get some... Oh, that's pretty dope. Get some horns in my ears. Do we got, like, the option just to get loaded up in jewelry? No? Oh, that's fucking lame, dude. I might just do these, though. Those are pretty sick. God, that's, like, upsetting that I can't just have a bunch of piercings. But, like, these tusks seem... What's up? They seem like the move. Yeah, see? Like... Alright, we're gonna do that, then. Tattoo! I gotta tell you, this is a pretty extensive character creator for the most part. Not mad at that. Feeling like my guy. <laughs> Fuck a Moana right here. These are decently designed. I'm a fan. Alright, um... Now I'm gonna go to that one that felt like me already. Way at the end, dude. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't hate that blue with it. It's not really fire, but... I am a sailor. I do like that blue. Now I'm gonna do that bright blue. I kind of like... No, nah, no, nah, let's do that subtle blue. Alright. Um, tattoo intensity. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now we're back to our face. Okay. Um, confirm on that. Oh, he's, I'm, I'm already right there. I love it. Oh, that's almost better than Skyrim. That's because I'm fucking built different, dog. Nah, dude, I was just born in the right place at the right time. Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Alright, if you've been here, you know how it goes. I usually just go ahead and name my character my channel name and just go with Zen. However, Stigander, it's not bad, and it's already a weird world. You know what, dude? We're just gonna keep Stigander. Stigander. Normally I don't do that, but that, that was a pretty nice one up front. Oh, I got dumped! I'm literally dumped like fucking garbage. Time to wake up! I'm just slaying in corpses! Oh, God, look, their bodies wiggle when he steps on them. He's kind of wiggly, too, but... Oh, like, I feel like I can feel them squishing beneath him. They're rotting corpses, so their bodies are getting jelly-like. It's okay, dog. We'll get therapy later. I don't even know if there is therapy in this time. They just need to suck it up because I already see someone dying every day. Or... 30 people dying a day. But it's a magical looking place, though. Alright. I think we're in. Yeah. Okay. Um. Something's happening over here. Gotta tell you, and I, I already did, like I said, put reshade on, but it looks good. So, the original game, I think, and by the way, I'm gonna be wrong on this, but, and I just read about it, but I already forgot, I think was, like, 2010? It came out with a bunch of other big releases, and by the way, I'm probably fucking wrong on that date, but even for a remaster, it looks pretty good. Hold on, let's go back here. Is this worms on these things, or is that just black mist? Oh, no, that's just rot, dude. That's just fucking stench and flies. Oh, that's brutal. Can I go off the edge? No. 
so I'm safe here. But yeah, it looks like a big cave. It looks good. It definitely feels like it's from yesteryears, but I personally am a fan of that. Hell, I'm an old man. I enjoy kind of getting to see the classic vibe. You had to make more with less, and who can be mad at that? All right, what do we got here? Secrecy is still important in our work, requiring specialized disposal of our unfortunate failures. Piling remains have become a concern in the lower caverns, so an incinerator has been added to deal with the waste. This should make disposal work slightly less horrible, although you should avoid drinking water from downstream of the ash dumps, okay? Hardly a fitting rest for the poor things, but if it's any consolation, these weren't their original bodies in the first place. What? What does that mean? I found something. I got gold. Hey, I'm not poor anymore. That's nice. Oh, so I got to sprint with X. Yeah, X actually messed with my controls here. Got a dodge roll. That feels pretty good. Triangle doesn't really do anything. All right, I can. Oh, I can fucking get ready. Okay. Oh, here's a sword. Okay. All right, so here we have our main menu. Actually, before we get into the abilities, let's, let, let's look around. We got a map. Well of Souls, so enclosed area, so probably different maps. Oh, wait, hold on. I just saw it. Got the world map. Oh, shit. I knew it was a big world, but damn, dude, that's pretty big. Okay. I'm excited to see what's up. Status, we got some skills. Lore stones, effects, stats, manual, good. Moves. Well, that ain't bad. Okay. Night, I was curious how the skill tree would look. They always have it and you always need it. Uh, okay, so this one's pretty big. This one's just based around might. Then we got finesse. So we can get some bow damage or daggers. Okay, so I actually am going to pick what I want. All right, so brutal weaponry. Savagery with a sword. So we got... Harpoon? Interesting. I'm not mad at daggers because I love dual wielding. I love heavy hitting too, but still. Uh, I'm probably not going with magic. I'm I'm never a fan of magic, especially in older games. All right. Um, quests. What do we got here? We got faction side task completed. Main out of the darkness. Yep, yep, yep. Weapons. Okay. Let's equip. Oh shit! That's a rusty sword. That's pretty dope looking for a rusty sword. Let's try it out. Oh, items. What do I got? Yeah, it's. it's I already read that. I did see it. Okay, there it is. Okay, there we go. Now I can swing it. Okay, animations feel pretty fluid. We're gonna pull the lever. Oh, I'm sending him into hell! Goodbye, soldier. You will be missed. Alright, moving on. Do 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 Run! Was that voice talking to me or was that them yelling out loud? Oh shit. Scatter children of dust. Scatter before the might of the Oh! 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 He's taking him down! I don't like that I can't hear the sounds from over there, but that's fine. Yeah, you never think about audio as as how important it is. And we know it's important, right? But when something far away, I should be able to hear that, so I feel like I'm more in the world. I know you can't, you know, I know beggars can't be choosers, you can't ask for everything you want, but whatever. Still. The hell is this? Are these rat pangolins? They are just some big fucking rats, so they're going to want to fuck me up. Oh, get wrecked, nerd. Oh, he's like... Oh, nice! They have ragdoll physics! That's always a good feeling, so the corpses just don't disappear into the fucking ether. Oh, this guy's dead. Stay away! <laughs> Stay away! Do you hear me? Okay. 
Okay, we got destructible environment a little bit. Always a fan. Makes it more fun to just kind of go through anywhere. Dude, I'm coming, dog. I'll save your life. I got this rusty sword against this probably brand spanking new one, but it's okay. Oh, you can't handle this. Yeah, that's what I thought, dog. Go on, stand up. Mm, mm. Little hack and slash, like real basic hack and slash, like God of War 1. But it's something. Why are you running? Oh, okay, so you can do little hold attacks. But, yeah, there's not a lot going from it. I know I gathered armor. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, if you hadn't come along, I, wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You. You were dead. No, 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 no. You thought I was a different breed. You're alive. This voice actor sounds familiar. Not anymore, but you were. The well of souls remade your body. We thought you were another failure. But the well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. Yeah, it did. Let's get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Professor Formerus Hughes. The well of souls is his life's work. That's a pretty good goal. The lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Let's Take do it. Years. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to choose. Now, let's get going. Yeah, I figured it'd just be some potions. I wish I could tell you more. You showed no signs of life when we removed your new body from the well's waters. We just put it in the furnace room with the others. We would have never done that if we knew. I'm confused. Is like resurrection the normal thing here? Oh my. You don't know? Uh, perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tuatha the enemy of all the young races. Mm. I've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they're here. This man is incredible at his job of voice acting. The Well of Souls is just ahead. You'll see. Okay. And it works. It restored you to life. It's very true. There will be plenty of time to explain later. Okay. We've got to get going. You got it. All right, where's Hughes? Study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there and safe. Me too. All right, well. Let me get this door. We can be on our I mean, I'm not going yet. Right this way. I got shit to loot. You go first. I will. Ooh. Oh, dude, now we really got to wait. I'm going to bust up this whole room. I just got paid a little bit. All right, I see that I have armor. Jesus Christ, it won't take it away. All right, give me the battered armor. Oh, yeah, looking good. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I've got a whole new fit. And consumables, I guess. Fuck. Oh, I'm feeling new. I don't really want to talk to him. He's, he, I kind of do actually though, I like him. He just had a lot to say. And I just came back to life, so I'm looking to smash shit. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention, the Well of Souls. Imagine an end to war, an end to death. Okay, so resurrection is becoming normal. That's pretty dope looking. Oh, well, y'all's life's work just went to hell, dude. Holy poop. That's a bummer. Water looks pretty good. Anything over here to uh, plunder? I bet you're still groggy, but just keep moving. Okay. I didn't mean to talk to you. Oh yeah, I, wait, that's right, I can do this. I can run. Dude, look at all the bodies. 
Look at my man here. Eyes open. <laughs> His eyes are open and everything. Oh, let me zoom in on this. We can do this. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's haunted. And he's so just looking at me with those romantic eyes. Another one lost. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> God. Pretty brutal. It. What's fun about this is you can see the age and the animations. Like, there's no lever pull animation. You just do it magically as though you have tele uh, telekinesis. But it's whatever. I'm going to say it's not a deal breaker at all. Like I said, in a lot of ways, I'm a, I'm very nostalgia driven, so it's, it's not hurt my feelings. We're in one of the storerooms. See if you can find anything useful. Okay. I mean, dude, you really don't tell me twice. I've already been collecting. Oh hell yeah! Give me that chest. Flimsy greaves on lock picks. Nice. Getting some money. And last area. Combos felt pretty good. Alright, I got some new gear. Alright, let's see. Uh, tattered shirt. Gloves, dog. And then I got some Greaves. 5% critical, 5% melee. These are better, though. These have critical hit, but... And they don't match my outfit, but I kind of like that about it. Yep, more healing potions, some lockety picks. Dude, my boy is starting to look fucking awesome. Alright, what do you got for me? Do I need to interact with this? Oh, I get to loot it! Hell yeah, I want a shield. Is the shield part of my armor? Oh, interesting. Oh, that's huge. Wait, do you hear something? Oh, look at it. What the hell? Oh, dude, you guys can't handle this. I don't think so, dog. Yeah, I like this little combo you can do. I think it's a charge. You're going to need more than just that sword. I know. Did I just automatically loot them? Oh, that's where I get the longbow. Yeah, yeah, I definitely equip this longbow. Nice, you get a secondary. That's good. Right, how do I... How do I... Uh... Oh, item. Okay. I can map it. Yeah. Put this here. Okay. So, it's just triangle. Oh, it's almost like dead cells. So you just have two button commands for your first and secondary. Not mad at that. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh god, I, I got shot. Archers up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us. Man, there's beat me up. Jesus Christ. Oh, and I can't go loot them. Oh, good. It doesn't even matter. Let's take a moment. Let, let's take a moment really quick. Just because I like the design of this. I like these big fucking silos of whatever that chemical is. It's a unique feel. It's very big. Like, I'm totally seeing the World of Warcraft aesthetic vibes that people talk about. And I'm, I'm here for it. Where are you going? The sound effects are kind of my biggest grievance. 
I don't like that I can't hear anything far away. That's a pretty big letdown. Probably going to see if there's a mod for that. Uh, like, so far, that's my only real problem is it's what makes it feel very dated. Is just the sound effects not reaching out far enough. Tighter documents. Okay. I got a lot of lockpicks. A lot of lockpicks. And nowhere to use them yet. But they really want to make sure I'm stocked up. Ooh, some rusty leg plates. I like leg plates. Oh, yeah. I'm like a real knight in training now. Can I break this? Deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. Oh, hell yeah. Give me some daggers, dude. Oh, I can make it my secondary. Now I'm going to keep the bow right now. Four physical and piercing, seven physical, two piercing. They're really not, like, much weaker. But you get that speed, too. I like how they're progressively upgrading... Upgrading me. It makes me feel better about it. Oh, yeah, now I just need that chest piece. But this armor's looking pretty nice. Pretty nice. How do I sneak? There we go. Okay, alright, we got the eyeball presence. I'm not mad at that. Oh wait, do I actually have like a stealth kill? Oh, I do! Nice! Nice! Oh! No, God damn it! I don't want to talk to you! I want to loot him! Yep. Hell yeah. Okay, what items do you want me to look at? Tattered documents. I'm gonna do this. Come on down here then. Come on! I'm waiting. That's not good enough, dog. Oh, whoop that ass. They are weaker though, Jesus. Eleven gold. That's not bad loot. And a lockpick. God, dude, look at the fucking corpses. They're not doing good. Alright, let's go through here then. Uh, oh! Cave blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. Incredible! Oh hell yeah! So I still get magic? Do it again. Do I even actually care about this? Am I supposed to be hitting it? I'm gonna take this. Hughes. Per your request, we finally got the spider problem under control. Claude will try to take credit for an efficient cleansing with his Praetorians, but I feel he overstates his case and fails to recognize the value that my own quick thinking and scholarly work provided to this successful operation. While overseeing the spider purge, I noticed that those guards who were affected by spider venom exhibited stiffness of joints and tightening of skin, symptoms which suggest a possible solution for the internal cohesion problems of some of the well's creations. I would have studied these symptoms in more depth at the time, but the guards will willfully and flagrantly disobeyed my orders to delay application of antitoxins. As such, I request that we capture some of these spiders in order to harvest their venom and for future testings. Furthermore, I trust that these insubordinate guards will be punished immediately. For my steadfast pursuit of knowledge, I require no medal nor promotion. All I would ask is that you please reassign me off of subject disposal detail. Garan. I don't think I have a carry limit. I hope not. They want to be shocking though. They love doing that. 
Okay. Gathered that information. Gathered some loot. Anything else in here to care about? No. Do I care about this? Am I supposed to care about this? Or am I just shooting it? I think I'm just shooting it. Can I just put robes on? Okay, so it completely takes... Pfft, fuck, I ain't mad at that, though. Oh, but if I, like, do that, it even takes my leggings away. Nah, I mean, honestly... Honestly, I haven't even been hit. So I'm just gonna look dope. I don't even know why I'm even thinking about that. Like, nobody's even hurt me. Alright, then right here. Go ahead and map mana. Here, we'll map our Serpent's Venom. Alright, we're ready to go. I think we're almost out of the tutorial area. Pretty sure. But now we're hitting into the spider's home. And they ain't happy about it. Yep, 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 there they are. God damn, they're thick though. Oh, there's a staff so I can practice out my magic. I will. Make that into my crude birch staff. Oh, nice. And I just, like, automatically have this fire ready to go. That's cool. And a chest! All my dreams! And I bet they're not good. Yeah, they go way down. Yeah, I don't really want that magic region. I like having the armor with the tunic. It's very paladin-like. not mad at that. Oh. I wasn't close enough. There we go. So I got a pokey stick. Oh, shit. Oh, I like this. This is actually kind of fun switching between the weapons. I am not mad at this. Oh, that felt nice. That was not bad at all. I just grabbed the fucking skeleton from this thing. I didn't want to do that, but okay, it's mine now, I guess. Okay, the two weapons are nice. Also adding in the spells and it's very on the fly. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's deeper than what I was thinking it was. Oh, God. Okay, so here's where it gets a little harder. Okay. I don't think so, dog. There it is. That's pretty fun, dude. Especially because we're just in the beginning. Like, it's, it's going to get deeper. I know I can, but can I light this on fire? No. Can I light this weapon on fire? Nope. I figured. I figured they'd be very controlled elements. Oh, I guess I can take a... Oh, that's stealth mode. That's right. There we go. Who's here? Who's around me? Oh shit. That's right, I'm not. His new best friend. That's what I intend to find out. He came out of the well. What? Then he'd better get inside you see the old man. Quick. This is where we part ways. Take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Love it. So you get to choose. We can hold Your neck's looking a little twisted there. 
Just make sure. I need more help. 5%? What does that mean? There's nothing more I can do except to stay here and slow down the Tuatha. Okay. This is the armory, after all. Check the chests. We might have a few things that would fit you. Got it. Luck, I'll see you on the outside. Fuck yeah, dude. I'll see you on the outside. If you got will see. <laughs> nah, it will. Alright, give me all of it. Plate armor. Nothing protects quite like leather armor is thick. I'm just taking all of it. Freeze your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. A lot of good norms die today. You'd better be worth it. I am worth it. I've never seen the Twatha this far west. Well, I can't just take whatever I want. Which, like, that's fine. I know it's for the time. This kind of has a Dragon's Dogma 1 vibe. And I'm not mad at that either. Like, I know there's limitations to all of it. But so far, this ain't bad. Alright, let's see what we got here. Um, do I have carry weight? It does not look like I have carry weight. Oh, I, oh, I got some better daggers. There's literally no difference. Oh, I just... <laughs> I didn't even read it. It's just crude iron daggers. Oh, God, I'm dumb. Got more battered armor and dented stuff. But I can sell all of this, which is nice. Yeah, there's nothing in here that I did not already have. Still, still though, I can sell it and make some money, guarantee it. Alright, we're ready to go then. I didn't actually check all the way back here. Was there, was there anything back here? No. Okay, well. Out into the world! We're on our own! I bet there's a boss up here. Just get you that first taste of it. You can get a better view of surrounding by pressing R. Yeah, I already figured that out for my little close-up camera so we could look at those corpses. And their very haunting faces. Anything here for me to take? There is! Alright. Experiments are now successfully recreating bodies 97.5% of the time. That's pretty good. Any missing limbs or extra fingers are now probably how the original subject looked, rather than a magical flux on our end. However, full revivification still eludes us. Even with increased testing, products are nothing more than inert lumps of skin and bone. Although the occasional spasm or twitch does allow hope of full success in the future. I know some of you complain that we should use cadavers and skip the corpse recreation altogether, but you must know we'd never be allowed to experiment with the subject's actual body. We may be working to recreate life, but that hardly allows us to desecrate the dead. Any further complaints can be brought to me directly. Okay. It's not good. They're uh, fucking with life and death, and that never has good outcomes. I think I go this way. <gasps> Anything to collect? Nada. Alright, into the laboratory. Anything back here? Nope, 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 nope. What do we got? You've made it! And look at you! Even with all you've been through, the Tuatha, your return from the dead... He knows me. Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomerus Hughes, and this is my... Fomerus Hughes. Alistair. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the well of souls, the pursuit of immortality, and you, you're my first success. I look really intimidating. We had the time. There's so much we might learn from one another. Uh, let's go well of souls. It's been my life's work, decades of research with a singular goal, Sorry. ending death itself. And now, you're the only proof that it's a success. But why did it work on you and no one else? What makes you different from the others? I'm fucking built different, dude. I've said it a hundred times. And if we're to get any answers, we've got to get you someplace safe. 
All right, my death. I shall tell you more, but your death is a mystery to me as well. It seems that your memory died with your body. You see, the well is designed to capture the soul of someone recently deceased, recreating their physical form within its waters. Simple, really. Just, Before just simple. The first we might truly call a success. There have been others, but the results weren't quite right. You know, this type of st origin story is very normal. You're the amnesia-ridden character that is the hero of all. And I never hate it. I really never do. Yeah, it's overused, but it's a good fucking story because, especially in an open-ended game like this, or supposedly open-ended, it's better to just start out as somebody with a leg up on the competition, but also from scratch. And so, yeah, I I'm a fan of it. All right, tell me about you. Femoris Hughes, scholar of vivification prime circle. We are standing above my life's work, the well of souls. And there's so much to learn about you, though. I, I imagine it's all a bit muddled. Yeah. The side effect of the prismia, the shape of the patient, no, no. If only we had more time. All right, tell me about the Fae. The Fae are complicated. I could write ten volumes on the effects of immortality on a pseudo-feudal court system alone. All right. You don't know. They're called the Tawatha. They were once fey folk of the Winter Court, but they've been twisted by their Lord Gadflow. But how could they have found us out here? We're miles away from the front lines. The war has never touched Dalentarth. And why attack the well? All right, so now the real question, what's going on? Oh, never mind then. We're too busy. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yeah, I'll save for you. Absolutely not. I've got my <laughs> life, but it's most important that you stay safe. Okay. It's just that you you're wait, Fascinating. where are you going? Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow Oh. Yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the dwarf have reached the lab. Oh shit. No, my friend. Yep, let's go. Follow the path to the town of Gorm. Find Agar. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive. I will. Oh shit, going in. Oh, 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 my man's an animal. He's a fucking savage. All by myself. I want to loot your lab all by myself. All right, nothing to loot. I guess I'm just fucking leaving then, empty-handed. I mean, not really. I've got a bunch of shit. I'm just greedy. Don't want to be all by myself. Oh, oh, head first, head first, head first. I'm just gonna fuck you up. You can't handle the flames, dog. Stay down. Sorry, what'd you say to me? Yeah, don't fuck with me. Alright, I have a man with no past and don't even know if I have a future. What do we got here? Gold coins and lockpicks! Just what I needed! Get moving, you brute. Tear this tower up. What do you got for me? Love getting some potions. Never mad at it. And now we're... Yep! There it is! Oh, look at this guy! Oh, shit, he's carrying a big-ass tree! He's gonna fuck me up!
Alright, I'm gonna take down these guards one at a time. And I can focus on that big bitch. Oh! That hit. Alright, let's do it. Oh, Ow! Okay. Oh, I'm getting greedy about it. Alright, circles my dodge. Gotta remember this. Fuck you. But I can't use it yet? That's lame. Oh, I can just use... Oh, I, I got a quick access. I just gotta keep using fire on him. That is what's working. Oh. Oh, I've stunned him. Oh, now it's kind of fucked up. I just gotta keep... I don't think so. I do think so. But I am fucking him up, though. There he is. He's prone. He's prone. He's prone. We're going in. We're almost there. We're almost to the home stretch. Oh yeah, I am getting more damage with that. I am, I am. Oh yeah, oh he can't handle this. Oh! Oh, I bitch slapped him. Oh, I gotta charge, 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 charge. Damn it, I didn't even see the charge. Oh God. In the head! Oh, through the mouth! That was pretty dope. It's pretty dope. And I can do sage crafting now. Little button mashy, but that was still pretty sick. And we made it into the open world. That looks pretty good! Dude, that looks pretty sick! It's like a, we'll walk around for just a moment and then uh, we'll cut it there, man. Like, that was the tutorial. Can I climb? Now, nah, it's a little linear, but... Because I don't even have a jump. But that's not bad. What, what's my level up looking like? Yeah, so I got into the light. Inventory, accessories, I got a squire's ring. Simple band of copper imbued with magic, so just more health. Never mad at that. Alright, decrease my venom damage. Well, progress log, love it. And I leveled up. Okay. Um, stealth, sagecraft, persuasion. Buy and sell price, lock picking, dispelling. Oh, that's what that is. Detected enemies and other characters displayed on the mini map. Okay. Um. Man, I don't know actually know what I want to use it on. Uh. I'm gonna get Detect Hidden. That seems like it could be useful. Alright, and then... Three points available. Snag an enemy and pull it back to you. May have the opposite effect when larger enemies. So, do I get to pull them automatically? I kind of want to just get it, yeah. A ha raw muscle and spurs and makes you incredibly effective with a mighty hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, a charge attack. Okay, cool. Oh, and then they get extra attacks. Okay, so the combat will improve. Uh, your powers of daggers let you get most out of every cut and thrust. Let's look at this. Unlocks charge special attacks for daggers and fey blades. 
I think I still may go with Brutal Weaponry. So I'm actually going to get the Charge Attack. And then we already have one in Longsword. Uh, with... And then I kind of like the idea of the staffs, so we're also going to upgrade this and confirm. Love it. So now I got some new moves. Yeah. All right, cool. And then we will go ahead and actually change to my longsword. All right. Well. With that. That's going to cut it. I have played for a little over 45 minutes. We have went through the entire tutorial section, character creator, of course. And at the end of it, I, I like it. I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to beat the game. Apparently, it's like 100 hours long. And I don't know if I have that much time, but this will be one that I treat like Fallout or Skyrim or any other Bethesda game where I just can come back to it and hop in and not care too much. It very much feels like Lord of the Rings. It feels very much like World of Warcraft decided to hang out with God of War, especially the older God of Wars. And I, I like it. The world looks great. The color palette is very fantasy oriented. I think there's dungeons in this. And so I'm excited to see what it has in store for me. So I plan on playing it. I'd recommend that you try it out if you get it on sale. And it goes on sale a lot. So uh, I'm going to give this a... Starting out a 7.5 out of 10, just as a first impression. And look, this score could go down if I get bored and just nothing holds up and it doesn't get deeper. Then it's probably going to go down, but I might fall in love with it. I don't know. So yeah, 7.5 out of 10 starting out. I definitely recommend you check it out. I'll put it in the description below the Steam link. And please, seriously, like, comment, subscribe. It all helps the algorithm. And just let me know what you think of the game if you've already played it or if I missed something. But yeah, until then, catch you in the next one.